Bangladesh, a country in turmoil and on the edge. Days of violent clashes between government forces and demonstrators have left over 187 people dead. Thousands of others have been injured amidst a media blackout and a partial internet shutdown. For weeks, students have been demanding the end of a special quota in government jobs, which the Supreme Court has now reduced. Deeming it only a partial victory, however, the student demonstrators have refused to end their protests as they are demanding an investigation into the killings and the resignation of officials involved. The opposition also demands that the country's Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina, step down. In June, Bangladesh's High Court ordered the reinstatement of a controversial quota system reserved for relatives of veterans from the country's 1971 War of Independence from Pakistan. Students immediately condemned this decision, calling it discriminatory and instead demanded merit-based recruitment. The quota system in Bangladesh reserves 30% of government jobs for the families of independence war veterans. Another 10% go to residents of underdeveloped districts and women, 5% to indigenous minorities and 1% to the physically challenged. The system leaves only 44% of government jobs available for the general population, a significant issue in a country with over 26 million youth. Bangladesh's slow economic growth means that government jobs with their incentives are highly coveted, but the competition is fierce. Over 400,000 graduates buy for about 3,000 government positions each year. After prolonged student protests in 2018, the quota system for veterans' families was abolished. However, in June, following petitions from relatives of 1971 veterans, the Bangladeshi High Court deemed the 2018 decision unconstitutional and reinstated the quota system. Immediately they started protesting and it was always a peaceful protest. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina Wajed, who has been in power since 2009, labeled them as grandchildren of Razakars in a press conference. Razakars were Bangladeshi volunteers who supported the Pakistani army during the 1971 war. Bangladesh's government denotes all collaborators of the Pakistani forces as Razakar. Experts believe that this comment added fuel to the fire. When Prime Minister, when the Sheikh Hasina, she used this word, she told the students, you are the Razakar, you are the collaborators. It filled them ashamed. It filled them, uh, they are not part of the country. The student demonstrations were violently countered by government forces, resulting in a deadly crackdown. We are open to kill. Sheikh Hasina, the daughter of the country's founder. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman has ruled the country since 2009. The main opposition, the Bangladesh Nationalist Party, and its allies have boycotted two national elections, accusing Hasina of turning the state into a one-party system through violence and intimidation. The Supreme Court has now reduced the reservation for freedom fighters to 5%, among other quotas, and 93% of jobs will now be merit-based. However, this decision has not satisfied the students' other demands, such as the resignation of top government officials and investigations into the student killings. It is no more a quota movement because after the brutal treatment for the protesters, it has become a nationwide uprising. It is not any more limited to the quota movement. If, say, if the government instantly say, whatever you want, we'll give you, we compromise. Even uh, that will not work. Many protesters and the opposition are calling for Hasina to step down following what they describe as the worst civilian massacre the country has seen. With over 187 people, mostly students killed, the protests have evolved into a broader mass movement.